Hello there, I'm another Magento Dev, and in this video, I wanted to talk about configuration variables in your Magento 2. A really good way of teams uh, working on sort of Bitbucket and, and GitHub repos, pushing and pulling data all day, being able to keep their databases, their local databases, in sync in terms of settings and, and stuff like that. So they're not quite as complicated as upgrade scripts, which also do the same thing, you know, putting static blocks into the database. This is more actual environment settings, so settings in the database, in the sort of like the stuff you typically find in sort of system config, being able to control those in your config PHP file and being able to share that with other developers. Let's uh, let's jump in and have a look. Traditional way, you know, over the years has been, you'd go in the admin, you'd make the change, you'd have to save a SQL file, you'd have to send the SQL file. Um, well, Magento 2 gives you a really <clears throat> useful way of handling those changes sort of automatically and it is through uh, environmental variables uh, in, in the in the config PHP and um, a caveat to this is the the environmental variables in the config PHP are non sensitive variables so Magento does split out uh, system config and environmental config that is either well, sensitive or, or non-sensitive. So things like your passwords to your payment gateways, you can't save those in your config PHP. Uh, you have to save those in your env PHP. And it sort of defeats the object because you shouldn't really have your env file in uh, in your repo. So I, personally, I think the, 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 um, the settings for the sensitive ones, handling them in a... PHP file is sort of a little bit redundant. I think this is the most useful when working in teams and, and you know sharing fa the files over a, over a repo and just wanting to keep your databases in sync. Now I, I've touched on another tutorial which I'll put a little uh, thing up for now which shows you how to create an upgrade script, a setup script in a module to be able to save data direct into a static block which is sort of a version of this it's sort of like a sibling of this process in that as soon as the next person pulls it down from the repo if they've got the right version of the module it'll it'll update their static block from without them having to go into the admin and manually make the changes that you've just made you know via whatever method we used to use now environmental variables and upgrade data scripts are, are sort of the way to go so here's an example of how to set the scene set the theme uh, set your custom theme for an environmental variable and as you can see um, I've, 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 I've done this I did this in another tutorial so this is uh, the setting that I used before and I didn't when if you check that tutorial out um, I also didn't have to enter the admin to enable my custom theme which is handy um, so I've uh, been been testing some some bits and bobs out here because I wanted to demonstrate it to you. So basically, one of the main questions I get asked when I'm sort of working with junior devs, new devs, is how do I know where to put this environmental variable? Like how how do I know from looking here, um, you know, in in these sections, where where to find the actual, you know string if you like or sequence in the JSON to be able to affect it now the long way around is to have a look in the database so say we take for example web SEO use rewrites right so it shows you the path there web SEO use rewrites and that is that setting there you can see I can choose to have it on or off now if I wanted to control this setting in my config I would quite simply pop this in here and as you can see we've got web oh. Turn it up. web SEO rewrites now I'll refresh my screen it'll tell me every time when I change it whenever you change config in this file Magento detects it and you've got to run um, this command which is bin magento app config jump back in and you'll see right it's set to yes because I set it to yes but the key thing to note is if you have a environmental variable in here it is the overriding 
variable you, like you, an admin cannot now come in here and, and edit this as you can see it's disabled so if i made a change um it, it's different to using a system variable look so this is this is sort of an all or nothing approach now as i say it's great for developing but there's a there's a there's a case to be able to say well you know once the sites live I mean a setting like use where web web server rewrites your admin your merchants never going to change that they should never be changing that so it's probably a good idea in that situation to have that set but you know there is a case to maybe being able to uh, maybe r removing some now there is another approach that you can take to this which I'll show you so it is actually possible. You know, when, when answering that question of, well, how do I find all these settings? And I've found this really useful recently when migrating a Magento 1 to a Magento 2. Now, where I start with those migrations is I run the migration, uh, which I could do another video on, actually. Well, I won't go into too much detail, but you run the migration, and what that's doing, it's grabbing the settings. Well, the first part of the migration is you migrate the settings, then you migrate the data. And then after that, you can migrate Delta, which is updates to that data so new orders come in if it's running off a live database you can continue to update your your site until you go live however first step is migrating over the settings and i found this process what i'm about to show you really useful for checking that i'd pulled over from the magento one all the settings particularly the settings for the modules that i'd not yet installed in my magento 2 so say for example algolia was in there i could see all the settings for algolia i installed the magento 2 version of algolia i would expect that the majority of them settings from the magento 1 like api keys and things like that should carry over i've already pulled them across i can check it in my environmental variables and as part of the development process it's easier than sort of going in and out of two admins checking that your your um, settings have, have copied over correctly so the, yeah so essentially what I'm talking about is I've, that what I've just shown you is this is the manual sort of approach to being able to create to create a link in your config file to a variable as and when you need it now there is a slightly different approach and what you can do is you can dump all variables from your Magento system into um, into this into this file. So I'll show you, and it does something else as well. So at config and dump. There, you saw it happen. So what it's done is it's grabbed everything, every available setting, and it's put it into the config PHP. Not only that, but Magento has split out. Oh, where am I? Magento has split out all sensitive variables as well. Look, so like your Elasticsearch server, for example, PayPal settings, PayFlow, Amazon payments, even the public key for Amazon payments. It. It's all in there. Now, my approach, as I say, is this for me is a little bit redundant because you're not sharing this. I, I wouldn't ever, I can't think of a reason why I would use all this. So what I'd do is if I was taking the approach of dumping everything, like I said, migrations is a perfect example of then going through and uh, checking, you know, that that data's come through because what you'll do is you could search for like an Amnesty plugin. You search for your plugins, make sure that the settings have come over, see if they were switched on. Like for example, I've seen in there, I've seen in the one that I did recently, there was a Mandrill install and a Mailgun install, and it was easier for me to just see. Well, one set to enable, one set to disable. So that's the one that I need to carry over from the Magento one. Obviously, then I remove the settings from from the system for the one that isn't being used. So it's it's pretty it's a pretty good little little function and as you can see there I've, I've what I've done here is I've removed all the sensitive ones and I'm gonna keep them in the admin and everything in there is is configurable so it's kept the uh, variables that I already put in just to show you um, I've been nudged down a bit though but if I go theme there my theme still as it was it hasn't overwritten anything doing that and yeah I just found it a, it's a pretty useful uh, useful thing that Magento has got going for it there but I'll just show you again so now I've made a change to that file 
I've got to run and that's the important one import it takes a little bit longer I'll fast forward it I'll skip to it wait for it to burst wait for it look out <laughs> now I've not seen this before this has never happened to me um, an error on the uh, config for Braintree so I think what I'll do is why it's coming up with that I don't know now for the purposes of getting this going I'm just going to get rid of all this brain tree stuff get rid of all this right save that let me give it another spin I love impromptu errors when doing trying to put together a short tutorial so it's process system config and for your admin everything will no doubt go back to normal hope it's useful um, like and subscribe and I want to try and build the channel uh, so if you can do that that'd be great and it'll motivate me to do more tutorials and if you're finding them useful then everybody wins see you later